Welcome back, fans. That's right. I am dressed appropriately this week. Dr. Lucifer has returned. And guess what? Father Bull and I are here to listen to your confessions. He might forgive you, but I shall send you all straight to hell. <laughs> of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Step into the box. Tell Jimmy and Lee your sins. <laughs> Amen. Welcome. Welcome. It got spooky when the music overlapped there. Yes. Uh, Welcome, the, the everybody. Devil, the, Welcome. Devil, the devil works in mysterious ways. He Mike. certainly does. Yes, he comes in, and he comes in all shapes, sizes, and forms. You're reminding me of Jeepers Creepers, Father even, Bull. Even Priest. Yes. So I have yes. to say, uh, Lee, your introduction was yes. uh, gave me some chills. It did. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jimmy, I, I actually, Jimmy, Father, I, Father Bull, let me tell you. The yes. show has just begun, so hold I, on I, for a <laughs> hell of a ride, my son. Hold Those on. Some good ones. <laughs> that's that's what's scaring me. But uh, yes, uh, I have to say, mm -hmm. I had chills, and my left foot was shaking for some reason. Well, if you could, <laughs> if you could picture, if you could picture my father standing by the gate of hell right now, he's just winding the winch, and the doors and of the pit of hell are opening. The flames are coming up to get the wow. people and their confessions. So just. Just imagine that's what's happening right now as we begin this talk into the darkness that we shall delve into the lives of the people who sent <laughs> their confessions because you might try and save them, Father Ball, but I am taking them with me straight down. You know, I have to say, you got a good point there, Lee. Uh, Thank you, Father uh, Ball. Uh, Dr. Lucifer. Uh, Thank you. We are reaching into the depths of the human souls, you know, yes. as each person gives us their, you know, deepest sin and confession. Mm -hmm. it, we, are, we are literally opening up their souls and, and heading inside to, mm -hmm. um, to try to cleanse them or, in your case, uh, condemn them. I, so, I, am like, uh, I'm there, I am there, like I was just saying before I come on, I was watching one of a very inspirational show, Hannibal. Uh, I was watching oh, yeah. Hannibal. And yeah. Hannibal was just filleting some people. So that's what I like to do to these people's souls. Fillet them, <laughs> sprinkle them on the fires of hell with a little paprika and just well, watch the demons uh, come a little paprika. and devour them. Yeah. <laughs> I have to say, I think you're the man for the job. Thank I you. really do. Thank I you. Mean, you don't get, the, I mean, you know, you don't I've get saying... to be you don't get to be Lucifer's son just from Tiddlywinking around the backyard, Jimmy. Tiddlywinking. No, no, you, you, you put your dues in. You definitely did. So I'm thinking, Lee, that, you know, uh, over the course of the weeks, uh, mm -hmm. you know, each episode, uh, we've come up with a lot of crazy stuff. Is Father Bull a little crackly on the mic there? Or is it just me? Yeah, it's just oh, crackly. It, sounds, it sounds good to me. Oh, okay. That's probably oh, just God. the people. That's just their skin, their flesh burning. <laughs> it's like pig fat. When it hits oh, the fire. okay. So pork rinds. <laughs> Sorry, I'll tell my father. Excuse me, Dad. Keep the barbecue down a bit. Where it was still trying to do the show. Wait, right. Tyler, am I sounding crackly? Or am I, I'm okay. Maybe it's just on my end, but yeah, I, 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 when you talk, I hear a little crackle. But no worries, just playing producer. I was a little worried for a sec. Lee, do you hear crackling besides the flames of hell? <laughs> Only then I did. I heard one crack. Yeah. Uh -huh. So maybe just move your mic a little bit further away from your mouth, and we'll probably okay. be good. All right. yeah. And action. Yeah, that? Cool. Is that a little better? Yes. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll keep the mic away. Yeah. So uh, I have to say, um, it, what I was saying before we uh, really got interrupted by Tyler. Um, <laughs> Them choir boys never know their place, do they? No. The, the, the choir boys. Uh, and I want to get into that a little bit. Choir boy. Yeah, we will. Oh, we will. And, and, uh, and uh, what was the other one, Tyler? The, the... Altar, Altar boy. boys. Altar boy and choir boy. Yes. Yeah, so I have to notice because I have to write these notes down for the Vatican. I have to keep notes of everything here. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> my, my one question is, 
to Lee is that, uh, you know, over the course of the weeks and the months, we've discussed a lot of stories, like you just mentioned tonight, opening the, mm -hmm. uh, your father was uh, wheeling the wheel and the gates were opening up. Mm -hmm. And uh, as the gates were opening, the flames were rising higher and higher That's and right. smoke That's was right. billowing That's out of the right. gates. And right. the father was wheeling the mm -hmm. thing in and waiting for the stories of the confessions of the of the of the people that are giving the confessions mm -hmm. tonight. I think we should actually get together, me and you, and write a script, and mm -hmm. uh, and and pitch it to uh, Quentin Tarantino. I think he would love a movie like this. Yes, yes. What, very do, you, what, do, you, what do you think? I I concur. And as I can picture, as my father is opening these gates and the flames are bellowing out, I see your father up there trying the gather the clouds together and make right. it rain, a torrential rain, not like right. a 40-day flood, but like a rain to try put out the fires of hell. But I'm here to tell you, Father Ball, it's not going to work. The pits of hell are so bright and burning, it would be like throwing a drop of water on molten lava. Psst, nothing's going to happen. Their souls are mine, so you and your father can try all you want, send that ray of sunshine down, Send that dug down, <laughs> and I'll burn its fucking wings in the pits of hell. Okay, touche, touche. Uh, I think uh, you know you have a your, point. Your, uh, what say you rebuttal that, Mister Fatherball? <laughs> uh, uh, what I have to say to that is, uh, you, you know, at, at this point in time, in the world events, I think you're right right now. You think? Uh, so you yeah. can see we're winning, can't you? The dark side is yes, winning. Yes, yes. Uh, you know, just looking at the times and. The, the mm -hmm. news and whatever else is going on in the world, you know, whether wherever your political stand mm -hmm. is, I really don't care. I but know. the world is going to shit. Yeah, and yes, right. Lucifer. Uh, team, team Lucifer is growing, growing, and growing. Okay, Team Lucifer is definitely in control. <laughs> and uh, right now, at this time, it might seem like that. But I mm -hmm. think that the father only granted him power for so long. He's limited. Yeah, so I'm saying enjoy yourself now. Uh, you know, pump up the flames Don't, don't of hell. count your chickens before they're hatched. Throw, when you do crack them eggs and they spill blood, that's <laughs> the sign. Throw as many souls as you think you can into the flames of hell. And uh, we'll see what happens at the end of time when when uh, Jesus returns in the clouds oh, yeah. with his arms to make war. Yeah, I've, been hearing, I've been hearing that for thousands of years, my father and I. Well, been, I, I, oh, I, I, I think it's a oh, part of it. Oh, the end is near. The end is near. Oh, oh hum. Well, well, I, I gotta say, you, I, want, I want you to know why you keep preaching that your father is oh going my God. to return. Why you keep preaching he's going to return. I want you to know, me and my father are already here. We have been here for hundreds of years, playing you all like a fiddle, bringing you all in like the Pied Piper, dragging your souls in here. We've been here. You keep preaching that you're coming, you're coming. By the time you get here, it'll be too late. The bus, the train. Are you talking to Jesus station. directly right now? I'm talking to Father Ball to pass the <laughs> message on because. Well, I, I'd like to answer that question there, Doctor Lucifer. Thank you. I I don't know at what point in time your your personality has has switched <laughs> over from Father Lee to, to, to Doctor Lucifer. I don't know. What, you know, I don't know it's what total happened. Persona I don't know what happened sure. in between. Uh, week one, <laughs> two, and three, but whatever. No, you know, no. so you thought you thought me putting this shirt on would bring me back to earth. Well, let me tell you. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what well, happened. Sheep's clothing. Something exactly. happened. Have you heard the story of the Trojan horse? Here I am. I have, yes, yes. I have. So well, I, I, speaking I mean, of I people I, that might be going to hell, we have a flood of new, great new confessions. Oh, All right, wait, oh. oh, Tyler, I'm not finished. I want to answer. Okay, well, I'm just going to let you know we're not going to talk for an hour this time because we okay. got juicy confessions. Go for All right. it. Okay, let me see just that. finish see, the story. See, see, just... see the little fucking choir boy there? He's even on Team Lucifer. He's trying to <laughs> cut you off. He's trying to cut the you off. The light has gotten more red, so I don't yeah, know what to say. it has, and uh, the skeleton yeah. in the background doesn't... Uh, you're feeling, you're feeling all alone now at the moment right that? now, aren't you, Father? What, what, what is that word? all alone. I am starting to feel... So listen, let me finish the story. All right. So okay. you're saying that, you know, that uh, God and Jesus has been saying for you, Thousands yeah. of years we're going to return, and, yeah. uh, and and Lucifer and your father and you have been here for uh, mm -hmm. millennium, right for That's decades. Right. But uh, playing so, playing you know, everyone like a puppet. But you have to understand something, <laughs> Doctor Lucifer. You know, yes. where God and Jesus put you here, because you were punished. You were thrown out of 
out, out of your out of your domain in heaven, and now mm -hmm. you reside on the earth. So yes. And let me you, tell you, you he are. couldn't have done me a bigger favor by tossing me out because since I left that, like I haven't got a word for it. You might call it heaven. I call it hell. This where I am now in the glory of earth, taking all these souls, turning people against each other, causing wars and famines and droughts and stuff. I'm having the time of my life. You can sit on your little puffy cloud up there and, you know, <laughs> talk nicey nicey to people, but welcome because you driving your truck each day on the road, Jimmy, people cutting you off. Guess what? You're yeah. in my hell, Jimmy, and I control it all. So as you're driving that truck, screaming at people, where is your God to help you? He's not there. Where really. is no. he? No. Yes. Where is he? Is he parting the highway? Is he letting you through? No. My father's making you sit there in traffic, making you blow your cap. So, Jimmy, you keep praying that your gods and your father's going to return. But meanwhile, as I said, you're stuck in my hell, buddy. So just enjoy it. So I have to, I have to reply to that and yes. say, uh, <laughs> yeah, there is some truth to that. <laughs> uh, your your father does put a lot of stumbling blocks in front of me to make me lose yes. my faith. Yes. So yes. the thing is, this is how I look at it, right? If everything mm -hmm. was rosy dory and hunky dory and beautiful and mm -hmm. there was no problems, people wouldn't go to God. You know what I'm saying? So that's why there's trouble in the world and people stumble and fall mm -hmm. and financially because you know that's well, God yeah. wants you to pray to Him. If everything mm -hmm. was beautiful, nobody would need God. You understand? So yes, your father does put traffic and, and, where, and, and where famine has, and, and, where has and praying suffering and, and, got and, and, people. and where has praying to him got people? As you lay there dying on the street, bleeding out, and the doctor stands beside you, and I hold that doctor's hands and I say, "Doctor, do not touch this Give patient. The news. He's going to pray to his God to save him." Who do you think has control of your life right there? Your God going to save you? <laughs> Or me holding back those doctor's hands who could plug your wound and mend you. That's I, right. I, 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 <laughs> I understand. I actually could I actually could visualize what you're saying right now. Yes, yeah. And and you're right. But the bottom line is that I hold your life in your, your hands. Doctor, Doctor Lucifer, me. I am holding doctor, these doctor's doctor, hands. Doctor, doctor, and you can pray all you want. It isn't until I say to the doctor, I release you. Help Father Jimmy that he'll get down and sew you up. All your praying did nothing. It was me letting that doctor go help you. So. Uh, I got you. Mm, yeah. Well, that's why they call it faith, Lee, because you have to have faith in God. Oh, so, there's another word know. they can call it. Stupidity, silliness, story time. Plenty of things you can call it. But Well, as I have said, to say, I have to digress. <laughs> if, if you exist... God has yep. to exist also because the only way you came into existence was by the Father. No, no we just right. we just said He existed just to give you silly people something to have faith in. Just so when when it, when the world goes black and you see my Father standing there with horns, you go, "Oh fuck! I wasted all those years on my knees praying." <laughs> <laughs> and we have a big laugh about it. We sit around the campfire going, "Oh, oh, oh, oh that's right." All those years you prayed and gave half your wages to the church so they could molest the little choir boys. <laughs> Welcome. Hey. I have, to, yeah. I have to ask you a question. Am I talking to the same person who sent me this beautiful crucifix <laughs> from the Vatican in <laughs> Rome? What happened? Uh -huh. I think I think somewhere That's along like the a, line. What we call that is we call that a fishing lure. I throw it out and then you take it. I've cursed it. And then I just reel you in. I reel you in. Oh That's God. how I reel the souls in. <laughs> yeah, I'm really starting. I'm actually starting to get a little worried here. <laughs> I'm starting. Yeah. To, I'm starting to wonder if, you know, uh, Satan himself uh, threw you in front of me tonight to yeah. test my faith to see if I'm going to oh, fall. Yeah. And I'm show, deny, like we I'm said, the show is only begun. Wait till we get into the confessions. You're going to be yeah, wrecked by the end of the show. <laughs> And I'm going to deny Jesus Christ and the Father. Exactly. All I can say is, all I can say is, Father Bull, when you go to bed tonight and you're sleeping with that loaded gun, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, how did you know I sleep with a loaded gun? 
No, no, as I said, my father works in mysterious <laughs> ways. At least, least my father is working, unlike yours, saying he's oh. coming back, coming back, and no wow. one's ever seen him still. Tyler, you hear this? Yeah. Oh. Scary. Oh. Wow. And you with the red light, you look like one of his apostles with that red light in the background. And yeah. with my my street savvy, Vatican approved. Yeah, for the that's, his, um, that's his streetwear from the Vatican. Yeah, Vatican it's Vatican streetwear. The homeless. They're trying. They're trying to, you know, get the is, get is, the demo out there to the kids. Is that a yeah. dartboard in the background there? Yeah, it's been there like forever. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not great, but I do love me some cricket. And All we right. do like throwing darts into people's souls. Well, you that's, know what? that's what I would, that was. That was my story, next question. There's right? a story that, that has darts actually. One of there our is? Best, yeah, I'm oh. not even shitting you. We'll get to that one. I'm just realizing one of them has to do with darts. Now you mentioned that. Anyways, let's do. Here's a great juicy one. To, we'll wait, just wait, hold right on, Tyler. Before you say that, so the, the, the difference between a choir boy and an altar boy, we'd like. I think we'd like to know. I mean, probably some of the fans know, but altar I'm boy. Sure, I'm is sure like, Lee has an answer. Well, I'll, I'll give you. I'll give you the quick answer. <laughs> one, 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 one spits, one swallows. Carry on with the music. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. I am 32 years old. So am I. And live on the East Coast. I broke up with my girl. This is, guys, buckle up. Okay. Even for us, this one is, this is, this is taking us to new heights here. It's on the, it's wait, take it from 32. the beginning, Tyler. I was laughing too hard with, with Lee. So I, been, I haven't really gotten too far. Oh, okay. All right. I'm 32, 32 years old and he broke up with his girlfriend. Yep. Lives on the East Coast, broke up. I don't need to give these details. Broke up with the girlfriend recently. And as you can imagine, spent a lot of time whacking my tobacco <laughs> thinking about her. One of my friends told me about a swinger sex party. So being intrigued, I went over there. Lots of nasty old people there. Uh, lots of, we have a few closets in rooms where you can go and have sex. I went into one of the closets. Being how horny I had been since my breakup, I just went for it. Entered the closet and it was pitch black. It's like this is like the – not that I was cool enough to go to one of these parties back in school, but it's like the seven minutes in heaven, whatever, and they push you in the pitch black closet. I Okay, there was a hole in the wall with a curtain that pulled over. Basically, oh. the other person would be on all fours as he just pumped away. <laughs> the oh. way he wrote this. I stuck my cannon through the curtain where the woman just 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 est it dry. She had half her body coming out of the curtain. This sounds very European. I thrusted my manhood in between the, her. I think he meant to say cheeks, but he put checks where yeah. I was framing her. Blah blah. blah const, like a construction worker using a jackhammer. After thirty minutes, Jesus Christ, dude. Of straight oh. sex, never seen her. Finally, uh, he he, you know, reached uh, an, an end of things here. Oh, I pulled up my pants and got out of the closet fast. I went over to a corner and seen the lady as she was coming out, wiping off her lips. To my shock and horror, I realized I just rammed my aunt in the butt. Oh. I took oh. many sexual pleasures with her. To make it worse, she is my mom's sister. And he is married to my favorite uncle. I am conflicted on what I should do. Should I tell her that I was the one she was looking clean? Because I can't make eye contact with her anymore. I feel like I'm definitely going to a hot place. Please forgive me, fathers. Welcome. Welcome you know, to the I was, place. I was, in a, I was in a relationship like that once. Uh, with your aunt? Where I, I didn't see the person for you know many years. And... Uh, yeah, we had uh, all kinds of uh, stuff going on uh, on the phone, but yeah, that's what happened. I never saw her. I never saw her. So I, and that wasn't my aunt. It was the, oh, another yeah. story. But anyway, make a long story short, I think this guy should just keep his mouth shut, yeah. and uh, you know, just uh, chalk it up as an experience and oh, uh, ask for forgiveness. And uh, uh, she uh, doesn't. <laughs> 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 and because, you know, after all, the aunt doesn't know it was him anyway, so. No harm to her. I'm sure if she found out, she'd be devastated, and uh, it might cause no. a lot of problems in the family. So oh, if I was wait. him, I would keep his mouth shut because please. it's going to blow up. She's yes. going to flip out, and then it's going to get back to his mom, and it's going to cause mm -hmm. a whole lot of chaos. Which I know, I know that Doctor Lucifer would love something like that. But I'm telling mm -hmm. him to keep his mouth quiet, chalk it up, ask for forgiveness, and move on. 
Oh, that was so, so loving and touching. It almost <laughs> made me sick. This is what he should do, speaking from experience. <laughs> He's finally stepped out of the closet, which is good for him, which he needed to do. He come out of the closet and he banged his arm, which is wonderful. And he had a great time. It must have been good. He lasted over 30 minutes. So what he needs to do now is text his aunt or see his aunt and go, you know that club, the special swingers club, when you had sex in the closet? Oh, my God. That was me. But... <laughs> but I know you're married to my uncle and you have a wonderful relationship with kids. And you will not say a word. Blood. You will not say a word. So we're keeping, gonna blackmail your, keeping your mouth shut, we're going to continue fucking at least once or twice. <laughs> oh, my I'm God. Gonna come God. Around. I'm going to come around and ream you at God. family gatherings. You shall meet me in the upstairs bathroom. Family Give me gatherings. A hand I'll destroy your marriage. Uh, Christmas dinners. Uh, Easter time, <laughs> you shall come into the bathroom and blow me while the family's downstairs. <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> I'll tell the secret because she's obviously cheating on her husband, but he's already banged her. Oh so I think God. he should go full ball uh, and keep geez. it up. Oh. And then he should say too, and by the way, oh uh, my God. I want you to bring your daughter to the next function. <laughs> <Come on! laughs> Oh, he needs like he needs yeah. like a flames green screen behind him. Tyler, what the hell got it to leave, man? He's Doctor Lucifer now. Doctor, wow. he's got a PhD Doctor. in evil. Yes. Talk about, talk about multiple personalities. <laughs> hey, I'm, wor I'm worried about. He you, holds really. he holds all the cards, and he should play those cards and ream her a new one to the day. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Okay, cool. Well, great. I think you know, um, I, I would probably say that in the old days, but I, I can't no more. It's a, I'm a yeah. different person now. Yeah, okay. Well, so uh, those are the well, two. I, well, I want you to know you didn't save him, so that's one yeah. for me. So Jimmy said, keep your mouth shut. Uh, you need to move on, move away from that, and beg for forgiveness. And Dr. Yeah. Lucifer said, you're already going to hell. You might as well blackmail her and then rape her weekly, which is a terrible, yeah. terrible advice. I didn't say rape her weekly. She just has to agree to it. And she just, has, she just can't say no. Exactly. Well, if, a little gonna, rape, if, a little rape, if you want to call it rape, some just call it full play and rough sex. But hey. Well, she's okay, going to probably – I mean, if you back her up against the wall like, like, uh, like Lee just said – uh well dr lucifer i should say because yeah, i don't know who he is tonight but, but uh yeah i mean she's probably going to agree with it because she doesn't want to blow up my marriage this exactly is, yeah she has no choice exactly this man this man has her by the nipples oh so, man uh, oh he has a by the little pubes you know, or, I mean, get, uh, or he'll get killed uh, by you know, he'll get killed by his his uh aunt's husband his uncle. i mean bring his bring, uncle the, bring, bring the daughter i mean that's Really, some tannic stuff, right? Yeah. Now. Okay. Well, this sorry, is sorry, 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 <laughs> sorry, water on sorry for being one-sided. Bring the daughter and the son. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Please. This is 2024, Please. after all. I hope. I hope the Lord forgives you. <laughs> what you're saying right now. Really your, all right. Your, your sign one. of the cross means nothing to us. This next I realize that one. now. You guys, I think you guys will enjoy this, but I'm curious to see <laughs> okay. how the differing. Uh, okay. How will differ at the end here? All right. I must confess my sins. Mm -hmm. We're going back. This is uh, when I was a young lad tale. I was struggling with obesity. I was constantly bullied back then. Fat people were few and far between. Not like these days where everyone's fat in America. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, uh, one lad in particular constantly bullied and shamed me in front of the whole school. Worst of all, the girls. They'd mm -hmm. all laugh and call me names. And then that bastard would, fi would film. When film came out, the fat kid did the truffle shuffle. Oh, when the film came out where the fat kid did the truffle shuffle, they would try to make him do that. Lee, I know you know this film. Do you? Uh, okay. I don't know why I called you. What's the truffle shuffle? So one day I decided to take my revenge. No matter what I had, he would take from me. Sweets, pop, you name it. So on the way to school, I got a bottle of Iron Brew. Have you heard of that before? Well, well. But there's his problem. On the way to school, they'll take you sweets and pops. No wonder you're a fat cunt. You can't control <laughs> yeah, your okay, okay. Let me finish. everything you fucking got. Carry on. Let me finish the confession before you berate him, Dr. Lucifer. Thank you. It's like a it's like a cross testimony. You gotta let the you gotta wait to strike. 
All right. Anyways, uh, so one day I got Iron Brew, drank half, and then topped it off and finished the rest. I topped it off with some nice warm piss. Mm-hmm. Sure enough, he was waiting as I suspected. He took the Iron Brew piss, drank the lot straight down. His face mm-hmm. was a picture, and I'm sure mm-hmm. he knew something wasn't right. That day, I couldn't stop laughing my ass off, and now over 35 years later, I still walk past the knockdown school. Remember that day, the revenge I took, ha ha. Recently, the lad died at 43 because he became an even bigger loser and was selling drugs and eventually took an overdose and died. So he's saying karma got up to the scumbag, yada yada. He's no longer fat now. He's actually competed in bodybuilding shows, turned things around, loves arcs muscle, and yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you guys think? So he went from an obese kid being picked on to being a loser, to being a steroid-taking person who peed in a jar that the guy drank and he thought it was funny, and he had that one laugh when the whole time you were still a fat, obese kid. So having the one laugh did nothing. You still had to look at yourself in the mirror at your pathetic, lolly-eating, junk food-eating self. It was where he started picking up for himself and turning things around. To abuse steroids. But you know what? He might have died of a drug overdose, but guess what? He died skinny. He wasn't fat. <laughs> you have to take steroids to keep your body the way it is and train every day. You are that like self-centered now and ego driven on your looks and you still <laughs> plead that you peed in that bottle. But you know what? You can look in the mirror at your muscles when you're training. You can think you look good. But that little scared of fat beast boy still inside of you, still wanting to cut his wrists and hang himself. You feel oh, it. Wow. do. So... You know, compete all you want, rub that oil on, that little fat boy still inside. And and the guy who did die from drug overdose, he's still laughing at you. Oh my god. Uh Father Bull. Oh my God, Lee. I gotta say that was a very He's doubling down on the that devil. A, that, yeah, he's a very extensive description of the I'm glad dramatic. I put this shirt on to make me feel good this week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to have like a heart attack from caffeine. I'm gonna get some water. Dude, this guy's doubling down on the yeah, devil. I need, I need some vodka. Forget about the wine. <laughs> oh, I do have beer. So I have to say, uh, just uh, you know, uh, replying off of your <laughs> of your comment. Yes. Uh, I mean, it's so in depth in the detail. It's very hard <laughs> to uh, <laughs> come out of that. <laughs> We'll try. But try listening. I, try listening I, to the word of your father. He's trying to send you signal there. I, I so I I mean uh, I have to say I'm uh, almost yeah. lost for words. But I think you're gonna, you gonna pat him on the back and say, "Oh, it's so good that you're obese." But now you've found a hobby and you've lost weight and you're competing in bodybuilding. Hoorah, hoorah for you! Is that what you're gonna say? No, <laughs> no I wasn't gonna say that. I was gonna say. That mm-hmm. the gentleman that he uh, urinated in a, in, a, in a cup or something, and the guy drank it. Yeah, yeah. And then he eventually died from overdose and other. Yeah, unrelated from the pee. I unrelated see. from the pee, right? You know. And meanwhile, but, uh, this guy's abusing steroids and is going to die of liver failure. So, okay. So I, I, I mean, there are some <laughs> things that I have to agree with you, uh, uh, Lucifer. Is that um, <laughs> yes? I mean. Uh, it's now okay. he's taking he's taking gear, and he's looking yep. good. He's feeling good. And, well, he thinks he yeah. is. You know, when you look when you look as bad as he did before. Oh shit, my god! You know, just putting on a new shirt, he could look a lot better. So you know, com- we're comparing him to what he looked like before. So you know, you're, you're comparing a turd to a polished turd. So what, oh what my the, god! What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't know we could polish turds, but I have to well, say. Well, he, he, you can't. He can't, Jimmy, but he thinks he can see. So that's why he's I dead. Kind of, he's still kind the of, same. He's still the same little obese kid trapped inside. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So I, I have to say, like you know, none of us are sin free, Lee. So you got to take a little bit of, you know, you got to back off him a little bit. I mean, you know, <laughs> he didn't realize that. I, you know, when he was a fat kid. I'm you know, when he was, thing. you know, he was stuffing his face with Burger King and McDonald's <laughs> and all that. Yeah. And that's right. If he, if, he, if he wasn't drinking the sugary drinks and lollies, that other kid couldn't have taken them off him. 
So maybe if he went to school with a lap, with an apple and a banana, the other kid wouldn't have liked healthy food. So he brought it all on himself, and he's still bringing it on himself. That guy <laughs> has died of a drug overdose. So but guess what you're what? saying is... The it, guy it, died, he's a piece. This guy's still in turmoil about his fucking oh younger God. life. So what you're saying mm -hmm. is that if, if, the, if, this, if, the, if this gentleman didn't become obese with the sugars and the chocolates and yeah, the Burger uh -huh. King, mm -hmm. uh, this never would have transpired. The guy probably well, never well, would you, have lost If you saw a kid come into school and he had nice lollies and chocolates, <laughs> sure, you'd take it. sure you'd take it. But if he had an apple, would you really take someone's apple? You'd be like, fuck that, I don't want an apple. But if he's got like a packet of chips and chocolate milk, you're going to take that shit. So he's brought yeah. it all on himself. He's still bringing it on himself. And he's yeah. looking at himself now thinking, I'm a bodybuilder. Yeah, no, no, no. You're still Just that like fat that. little kid on juice. So... I'm just trying to get the whole of the story where you're talking about. we got to change the show to, like, get roasted by Dr. Lucifer. <laughs> so <laughs> what, what you're saying is basically if the kid didn't turn into a fat bastard over <laughs> the years of school, mm -hmm. yeah. that all, of this, all of this other stuff wouldn't have transpired mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. I think that everything we do in life mm -hmm. has a reaction. For every action, but, there's look, a reaction. To be, fair, to be fair to the obese kid who's now a bodybuilder, but still that obese kid trapped inside – you have to remember, this was all brought on by family abuse. That's what oh, wow. he got Here comes. in food. That's what he found the comfort in food from being abused by his uncle at Christmas time, Easter time, any family gatherings when he, his mother would say, go with Uncle Bob, go fishing. Uncle Bob! Says, I don't want to go fishing. And his mother would force him to go fishing where he would be sexually abused. And then when he comes home, he would find comfort in the ice cream and chips. So it goes way back. So I can't, okay, I'll take a little bit of blame off him. But, you know, he's still uh, brought a lot himself. Uh, oh, Jesus, man. You're a tough act to follow, Lee. So I have to say. Hello, my love. My, my, my wife has come in laying on the floor right now. My name is Dr. Lucifer today, and they reckon that <laughs> I'm being very mean. He is being double evil, double doubling down on the devil. What do you mean? Hold, hold on. We have an emergency. You've run out of tequila. Yeah. And it's only 10 a.m. <laughs> oh, my God. And you've lost the TV remote. Yeah, I can't change the channel. You can't change the channel. No. Why are you laying on the floor like this? Because <laughs> you can't stand up because you run out of tequila and it's only 10 a.m. <laughs> oh you need God. Dr. Lucifer to find the TV remote. <laughs> you want to change the well, what are you going to drink, though? What time does the bottle shop open to get Uber? Now. What are you well, you doing better, on you the better floor? call. <laughs> I can't walk. You'll go do that. You go order some tequila through Uber, and yeah. I'll and I'll help you find your remote. Can, can you get up, or do I need to help you up? No, crawl. You can crawl, okay. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, uh, you, you crawl through the bowels of hell, and I'll be out there. Okay, you sure you can get up? Oh, my God. Hold on. The door. She's reaching for the door. She's got the door handle. You've got it. You've got it. Now you're crawling out. Now you're crawling out on the floor. Oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> Say bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Don't worry. We don't need to stop nothing. <laughs> oh, welcome, welcome to hell. <laughs> Holy shit. Is, she just, is it just like the party never stopped from last night? Or uh, open I just had a little bit last night. I got to open the fucking window. I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> Man, stuff's wacky over there in Australia. It's like hot. Oh, you guys shit. drink tequila in the morning. <laughs> hey, hey. That's why I said here, here in hell, it's always a party. Not like, <laughs> not like, not like Mr. Fucking Father Bull and he's God that puts guilt on people and gives oh, them the guilt God. trip. We accept Whoa, everybody. Wacky, dude, episode 18 is wacky, man. Well, Let I'm me just go see if I can that. find this TV remote. Hold on. All yeah, right. Please. I guess I'll ahead. queue up. The, I'm going to find the next juicy confession Wait a minute, for Hold us. on. Hold on. It's fine. We got we got time. Talk. You think we can talk it out, Jimmy? Uh, you know, he's saying I'm I'm I'm, I'm boring and, and my father and uh, oh, it's no. Him. He's just being devilish. He's and just being a little devilish. Trips on, I'm not putting guilt trips on anybody. No, no. He's just being I'm, a little. I'm, he's just I'm being telling a little everybody devilish. that they should live their life to you know to, uh, righteous as possible. Because yeah, there uh, is yeah. going to be there's going to be a judgment day. 
you know, God is going to return. I know, like he said that, you know, he's and here I am. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and yes, the scriptures, have, you know, they've been saying that, you know, when the Romans ruled, uh, uh, the yeah. Jewish people were saying this was the end times then. I I get all that. I do. Oh. But God is going to return. All those poor souls that have been waiting and living their life in faith and never seen the return of your Lord, your Savior. Well, oh, my, idea, my, my idea of death is, this is my idea of death. I'm going to explain it right now, okay? Once okay. and for all. Okay, so before I was born, before Tyler mm -hmm. was born, before you were born, okay? Mm -hmm. How many years have passed on the earth? Well, we, we still, that's still up for debate, how old the earth is. Well, Let's just, you know, just throw a number out there just for shits and giggles. Okay, let's just throw out 600 billion. <laughs> well, that's a little extreme. I wouldn't say 600 billion. I would, let, let's say 10,000. Don't 10, fucking 000. play a game where I can throw a number out, then you make rules after I throw a fucking number out. This is typical <laughs> fucking religion. You give well, people choice, and then when they make a choice, you fucking condemn them for making that choice. I'm not, Jesus. I'm not, I'm, uh, <laughs> I, uh, uh, Whoever you are, I'm not condemning let's you. Let's go back to 600 million. You said throw a number out. That's okay, what let's go. To okay, six, hold on. I'll okay, change okay. it. I'll change it to 666 million. Okay, touche. You see what I did there? You see what I did there? 666 million years have six, passed. 666 six million. Triple six million. Triple yes. years six, baby. Have passed. Yes. Until Lee was born, and Tyler uh -huh. was born, and mm -hmm. I was born. So let me oh. ask you a question. Yes. Does anybody have any recollection of all that time that has passed? Yes. No. Yeah. Well, maybe you have, but I'm asking the fans in the audience. I was nobody. Before, nobody before has recollection. Lee in 1888. I used to go by a different <laughs> name, Jack the Ripper. They used to call me as I wandered the East End streets of London. <laughs> Yeah, and you got Jimmy the Bull looking my Jeepers Creepers. Away. I've been called oh Hitler. I've been called Stalin. I've been called. Oh Genghis my God. Khan. This is I've useless. been called. This, I've is, been called, this is useless. We should probably I've been, called, I've been called Killer the Hun. I've been called many names okay. in my life. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> you've been reincarnated. You're an exception. So all I'm saying I've been is that. called Dracul. Vlad the Impaler. Dracula! <laughs> So all I'm saying is that all those years, <laughs> forget about you. So all the people, the, the regular, the regular people. You can't the normal, forget about the, me. I'm, the, here. The, I'm here. The normal people, okay. The, the regular yeah. people, not not the exceptional yeah. people like That's you. That's right. Yeah. Okay. You call um, people yeah. regular. You just make them all like sheep. We don't do that. We treat people as individuals. But your God treats everyone as sheep or regular. The regular people. We don't do that <laughs> down here. We have standards with people. We have different classes. You know. Mass murderers here, single murderers here, just wife feeders, child molesters here. We put people on different levels. You keep them all as sheep, like a flock. Everyone just flocking around. <laughs> flock, flock, flock. <laughs> flocking around the fucking field. Flockity flock. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, and, uh, yes. you know. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the story. You know, Carry you on. Know, yeah, I, I'm trying to explain. I mean, so, you know, uh, yeah, so. Thousands of years have passed before you were born. So my my mm -hmm. my idea is, and this is mm -hmm. my idea, mm -hmm. that when you pass yes, on, when you yes, hold on, it's returned. She has returned. She's been <laughs> here more times. She's been here more times than your God has returned. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> you spelt your name wrong on the delivery. So what's that mean when you show them your ID? They won't give it to you. I don't know. You don't know. Okay. Well, I got to listen to Jimmy's story about. The years were being Earth. <laughs> Carry on. Wait a minute, Lee. Maybe you better take care of Rachel. She sounds like she's <laughs> she's distressed. She's really well, in distress okay. there. She's just, she's just laying on the floor. I know, but maybe you don't want to hold leave on, her laying hold on. Hold on. Let me just put my hold on. Maybe you put a blanket on her. Or give her a pillow. No, I still I still feel breath coming from her nose. <laughs> maybe she will okay? this next story. Has some relationship yeah. you have there, I have to say. So anyway, uh, let me. Uh, is she okay? I feel bad. <laughs> She's fine. She's waiting for the tequila delivery. Yes. Yes. See that? See how she yes. woke up with yeah. tequila. 
We should see what she thinks about this next confession. Wait, so she's getting, it. she's getting a, 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 Wait a minute, Tyler. You're going to you, well, jump in. What's the hurry, man? We got, we the got hamburger confession. under the stove. Yeah, I understand we have to, but I'm going, I'm going let, off let, of one no, of Let fucking David Attenborough finish his fucking worldly fucking how many years have been here <laughs> on Earth story, for God's sakes. Carry on, David Attenborough. Oh, the, wow. Attenborough. You shut him I up. I don't even know what the hell I was saying. I'm walking. You got Rachel on the floor. <laughs> You're talking about this guy. All right, listen. The bottom yes. line mm -hmm. is that Todd <laughs> is playing music. He's rushing into the next confession. All I'm saying is that uh, can I just say this simply? Just get it over with, please. Yes. Yeah, get over with. Such okay, a before, say it. before, and, and people are going to think about this. Before they were born, yes, it came into existence and had a mind to be aware that mm -hmm. they're actually here. Okay, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. thousands of years have passed before. So when we pass away, and I feel like a thousand years have passed listening to this fucking story. I know we got to get to the confession. But carry on. You'll keep cutting me the fuck off. How am I supposed to explain <laughs> the, the fucking story when I, you and Tyler keep cutting me the fuck off? Oh He's playing God. the organ. Rachel's on the floor. You're, 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 you're condemning uh, everybody out rate, there. At this rate, God will be back by the time you finish this fucking story. <laughs> I'm, just try, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to explain one simple okay. forget about it. Tyler, okay. go to the next, no, no, go to the next confession. Carry go, on. Carry, carry on. on. Go. No, don't leave me hanging on the cliffhanger. I want to know. No, that that's it. I'm no, fucking no, up. No, I, I want to know the end hearing. of the fucking story. No, 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 fuck the, Rachel's fuck the story. here on the floor. Rachel wants to know the end of the story, don't Rachel you? Rachel don't give a shit what's going on She's right like now. So let, she went like let's that. just get went to the like next that. story. All right. Confession. Okay, play the organ. So I will play the organ. Rachel will enjoy this one. It's a doozy. I wonder what she'll think. And of course... You guys. Yeah, she's listening, she said. All right. So this guy's 26 <laughs> years old. Jimmy. I think I think we're in hell right, right now. Lee, we Lee are creating a hell right now. Okay, okay, I'll show you Rachel ready. There she is. Look. See? <laughs> Poor Rachel wow, on the floor. There she is. <laughs> oh my Hello. god. Hello. Rachel, I okay. hope you your bottle of tequila comes soon. All right. Thank we're all god. listening. We're not listening, caps. Jimmy. I'm listening. I'm listening. All I heard was 26 years old. That's, That's right. 26 years old. Got a job. He's got the hots for his boss. Oh, here we go. Do you want to guess how old she is? 46. Keep going up. 52. 66. Keep going a little bit higher. Jimmy. 71. 72. She's fit. This is a 57 year old Chinese woman. Oh, why well, you got to throw Chinese in there, you racist bastard? He's just describing her. He said he's a, uh, she's a 57-year-old Chinese woman. Okay, Chinese but excuse me for being rude. Can we oh, my God. Yeah, so he there's the, that that's the racist part. He wants us to get a visual lead. That's why he said Chinese. Okay, yeah. well, here you go. He okay, saying, he's, he's, he's he your boss. Go, go to work. Yeah. Okay. Go to work. Do your uh, job. He's a visual. He's, he's a visual. He's a visual. Looks, okay. Let me just yes. go. There we go. But she looks much younger. Tyler, he's losing his fucking mind. She looks much younger, like a 40-year-old Asian MILF. She moved to uh, America, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so he's at the hospital for a while. He broke up with his girlfriend, and then uh -huh. as the months went by, he decided to flirt with her more and more. Guess yeah. what? She reciprocated the flirting. He wrote uh -huh. me a novel here, so I'm trying to do it justice without taking up an hour here. But uh, blah, blah, blah. He didn't want to do anything when he was with the girlfriend. Anyways, guess what? So here's where it that starts to get hot and heavy. So – uh, let's see. Two years in he, banged, he banged the chink, his boss. No, you're going to... Well, it actually gets to it. Oh my God. Okay, so she's married, by the way. She has a oh. son that's 33. She has a son that oh. is, like, super older than him. A daughter oh. that's a couple years younger than him. I also didn't have any interest in getting her to cheat on her husband, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, couldn't help but start flirting. One day, he's working on a project after hours work. And she says, yeah. why don't you come into my office? Lean over his shoulder, resting her boobs on him like she always does. Uh, uh, she's Chinese. How big are her boobs? Fuck off, liar. <laughs> so she wanted to show him some stuff in, on her computer in her office. Oh, yeah. So, of course, they went in there. She closed oh, the door. She ends oh, up yeah. rubbing his thigh. And then... Well, what's, she, what, what's, she, what's she showing? The sushi fucking menu? Come on. Jesus Christ. Oh, that's Japanese. No, they all look. They all look alike. You, oh you my God, me, Lucifer! You tell me the difference. Okay. What's the fucking difference? What the haircut? Come on. So they end up hooking up in the office, as you can well mm -hmm. imagine. Oh yeah. 
She played with the cannoli, completely yeah. rock hard situation. Started with an HJ, went to, you know, of course, a BJ from there. Uh, described it in immense detail. Nice. It ends up being this whole thing for a while. Next Monday, then Friday, they're doing uh, it all month. Yeah, the whole sex scene from Viet Cong here. Yeah, whatever. Here's where it takes an interesting turn, though. Oh, oh, oh does it? Okay. Yeah. So she ends up leaving her. I'm going to cliff notice this. She leaves her husband for yeah. him. She does like that whole, I'll leave my husband for you. You're worth oh, great. it. Great. And they actually saw it through. He is now, long story short, living with her. She's paying for everything. She's a sugar mama. And he's just living off the lamb. As, he, as she is still his manager. And they have reported <clears throat> it to the company as well. So what do you guys th- The only thing is he's looking down the line. And he's like, well, shit. She's like, I don't know twice my age and if i want kids and stuff in the future he, has the wrong kids. he wants the business she's an old bat she's gonna die he's gonna get <laughs> half of it he's gonna get half of it if he marries her and or leaves her you know there's that fucking law where you be with him long enough you get half the shit so soon she won't be his boss he'll be half owner 57. of the company that's what i said right 57 30 years yeah oh my god 57 57 a 26 year old what's rachel think what do you think of that, Rachel? What do you think of that story? It's fucking gross. She said it's fucking, <laughs> fucking gross. Oh, it is kind of gross. Wait a minute. What did, what did Rachel say? She goes, it's he's fucking gross. Oh, okay. I agree with Rachel. Good. Yeah, I was throwing tequilas here. Good <laughs> night. If I never pick you up like that fucking quick. Fuck you. You, you fucking Wait, rose quicker the, the, than Jesus. The tequilas there kid. already? She fucking rose quicker than Jesus pushing that fucking rock away from the fucking chamber he was in. Oh, he just fucking sprouted up like that and fucking dove out the door. How yeah, did the tequila get this? In, yes, yes, it's here. In hell, we get shit done. If you want tequila, <laughs> it comes. You've been, as I said, again, you've been telling people the coming of Christ has been going on for how long? They're still Ooh. waiting. Dr. Lucifer orders tequila and it's been, what, 10 minutes? And the Satan spirit has arisen at the door. <laughs> I think Dr. Lucifer just claimed a life on my road, an ambulance well, with their lights on just went by. I have to say that, you know, uh, all good things are worth waiting for. So, you yeah, know, unless you're so, dying in the meantime waiting. Oh, my God. You, you got the tequila because you're Lucifer and we live in a satanic world. So, yeah. naturally, when you made the phone call, uh, the, 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 the tequila yeah. was there in 10 minutes because that's how this, done. That's how this world done. operates. Yeah, how many people are now probably laying in hospital, dying of cancer on a breathing machine, their family's got a prayer circle around them, all holding hands, praying to your God, and this fucker's still going to die. So we get shit done. Well, so yeah. What, I've, what I've, do you guys think of this guy anyways? What are your verdicts? I told you he's oh. going to get up to business, so he's very smart. He's playing smart. She's old. She's probably an old ch- chain-smoking Chinese lady. Because <laughs> Listen, I want you to come oh, into I my office. Hold on, hold on. My father's telling me. She's got lung cancer already. 88% oh, wow. of the lungs are pretty much done in. She's got another <laughs> two years left in her. In the, will, in the will, it's going to be half his, and then he's taken over the company. So he's done good for himself. Well done. <laughs> Jimmy, I, I don't know what happened to Lee, man. But I got—I'm got really you. glad I put this on today. He's digging it. Out like it. He's For digging the most it. part, I love I'm it. I'm telling you, I think really we tapped into something here. We just got to get know? him a red light. We got to black out that window. Yeah, we got to. We have to get rid of maybe, the collar. Maybe I shouldn't, we, maybe we, I shouldn't we, watch Hannibal before I come on this show. Oh, that might have been. We we got to change his outfit. We got to change his whole demeanor. We got to darken the room. More red lights like uh, <laughs> like Tyler's got going on. We gotta we gotta do the whole thing because I, what I need I need I need scary. To get like, um I need something behind me like a I can get like a screen where it's just like flames like the actual gates yeah yeah well I know you yeah. can green the green screen, screen. With, uh, yeah, yeah you can green screen with the other apps I, I bet you can do it with this one so I, I do you want to hear my my, uh, my I do holy, my holy no, yeah, opinion I, I, yeah. if if it's if it's as good as the how long we've been here on Earth story. I'm fucking coming <laughs> at the bit. I'm coming at the bit to hear it. Go carry on. <laughs> so my story, my explanation, my yes. reply uh-huh. is that uh, his his newfound relationship with this elderly woman who actually left her husband 
mm-hmm. to this young man, this thing is going to end up in a disaster. Oh, yeah. Uh, typical, it's typical, just, typical, it's going to typical, go nowhere. Typical He's, religious person being negative. It's it's not being negative. It's being positive. It's, it's positive. It's, the, the woman's 30 years older than him. Mm-hmm. He's 26. He still doesn't really know what the hell he's doing. And uh, by the time, you know, a few years pass. You know, York just condemned at... their relationship like it's shit. At least I gave him a few years together before she dies. And then I gave him the company so he can carry on with money. You are just condemned the whole fucking relationship. And you call no, yourself I'm, a I'm, godly I'm, person when you're just I, I am, over their I, love. I, I, I his am par- over their his love. parents. Apparently, of course, his parents were extremely concerned about it at first, but then he's like, no, no, it's real love. It's a good thing. And no, they're like, as long as you're not, happy. It's not real love. It's a fetish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's an imaginary yeah, thing yeah, he's got going on. Yeah, it's going to blow yeah. over. Yeah. He, 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 you're talking, you, you're talking to one of God's disciples who knows what real relationships are all about, Tyler, so be quiet. <laughs> I, I, I've been through hell and back myself. You know, just, because, just because I'm a priest doesn't mean that I haven't been through hell, you know, and through your neighborhood and happened. back on the other side. I have many times. So uh, uh, my, been a my, breaking the communication. She's back. That said, tequila is coming. It's not here yet. What's that, what's that shirt say? No feelings. Oh, she's got a shirt on. That has a knife going through a skull. Hold on. Here. Look, look, look. You give it. It's your shirt. Look at that. Look at this. Show the people the shirt with the skull. Show, show them oh. Satan's whore. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Be quiet, Satan's wench. Be no, quiet. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, she's got something to say about the Chinese lady and that. What is it? Yeah. Well, this guy, right? Mm-hmm. Like, he broke up this marriage and whatever. Mm-hmm. And now he's having like, oh, what if I have kids? You don't get to do that. If you're going to fuck someone and break up their marriage, you fucking stick with him. All yeah. right. Rachel, yeah. you should be a regular on the show. Like, no lie. So wait, I didn't hear what she said 100%. She said that the guy broke up a Fucked marriage. up the relationship. He fucked up the marriage. He doesn't get to worry about his own kids. Said, what if I want kids? And he got, and she said, you don't get that fucking thing now. You don't get to worry about that. Kids. You fucked up their relationship and their marriage. You've got to stick with the old bitch till she dies in two years from lung cancer. It's like you made your bed, you lie in it, yeah? Exactly, yeah. yeah. With an old bitch that's dying of lung cancer. You really, yeah, because she like threw him the proposition and he was like, yeah, apparently. Yeah. Let me, I better yeah. reread. And now, now he's thinking about kids. Too bad. No, too fucking late, mate. You destroyed that marriage. Yeah. <laughs> I have to Jimmy? agree with Rachel. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, it's here. It's here. Goodbye. I have to agree. I have to agree with Rachel. Rachel the fans right. are going to love her. She should be a regular on the show. Listen, you know, Absolutely. the guy broke up a marriage. I, I, could have dressed up, I should have dressed up as an evil nun. Sitting oh, my God. She could be a nun. We need we, real talk. We could use a, a feminine, you know, voice on the show. Yes. Just make sure she's drinking tequila, Lee, because she's a Yeah. That, well, that, that when, 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 when is she not? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to agree with her. The guy broke up a marriage. He's 26 yep. years old. He's banging this 57-year-old uh, Asian woman. And now he's thinking about kids with a woman yeah. that's almost 60. It ain't going to happen. So we he's should... going to suffer now. He's gonna, he's gonna, he, he's gonna reap what he sowed. He's gonna suffer for yeah. the next few years, like Lee said, until she dies of lung cancer, whatever's gonna happen to her, and uh, then he'll get all her stuff, and then he'll be fucking miserable the rest of his fucking life because he went through all of that. That's, yeah. and that's not being negative. That's being godly because he did wrong. He should have never got involved with a woman who was married. He did wrong, and now it's gonna come back to him. Yes, so another soul claimed by Dr. Lucifer. Thank you. Another story. <laughs> this one I agree. This one you could have that soul, Lee. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'll allow so they that. basically fooled around for like nine months until she yeah. got to the point where she's like, I want to leave my husband. What do you and think? About long long let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. So she said, What do you think about living together? And said, I was quite shocked. I told her I would need to think about it. I mean, I'm still living with my parents, for God's sake. She's robbing the cradle. After that, she left her husband, who didn't expect it at all. She didn't how tell long, about me. She moved how into long? her own place. I had to tell my parents a bit of the story in her age. They were shocked. Kept asking, are you sure? Am I okay? But after reassuring them, I really like, like her. He didn't even put love. They said, as long as you're happy. 
So then he de they declared their relationship and then they moved in just like that. What, what, what an ass. Now, how long was she married to her husband for? Her and her husband uh, probably no, fucking she's... fled fled to fall of Saigon together. Oh, and my God. A new life, started a new life in America. Might be in the fleeing place. Saigon. They got out with just the clothes on their back. And this young whippersnipper comes in and destroyed his guy's marriage. Now, this, her husband, he's only probably a week or two away from offing himself because he's lost the love of his life. He's, you know, he's lost everything. He's been cut out of the business that she runs and shit. So, you know, I'm claiming more souls here by the moment. Well, they must have well, been married you know, for a long time be, and she he, has a 33-year-old son. He's got to be strong and he's got to face the music. He's got to realize his wife left him for a 26-year-old kid that's still wearing a fucking diaper. After like 40 years so, of marriage. Yeah, so yeah. you know what? I got, I, I don't, you know, the guy, I think that the, the, the husband is going to come out. I feel bad for that guy. No, oh, well, he's, okay, no, he's, he's going he's to he's he's be triumph. He's going to be triumphant. That man is going to come out shining like a... Huh? I'll let you have the husband. I'll let you have the husband, Saul. I'll give you him the re and make him feel good. I'll give you him. I'll give him back to you. <laughs> That's nice. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Very graceful. Mr. All right. Well, hey, we got another fun little. Here's a quick hitter. Is Rachel still here? Or is she leave? Oh, she's probably feeling hey, it. Rachel. Where's Damn. Rachel? Hey, Rachel. <laughs> we got another confession. <laughs> Rachel. Oh, my <laughs> God. This show's getting better Sweet. and better, man. I gotta it is. Say. This is a good episode. Yeah. yeah. Okay, there's a confession they want you to listen to. Okay. Carry on. She's listening. This guy needs a feminine input, honestly. Okay. Okay. All right, hang on. Let me conjure back up here. Rachel said she thinks she's wrong for the job, but she'll listen anyway. <laughs> okay. No, we like Rachel. We like her input so far. We do. Okay, hello all. I come to confess that I am a 23-year-old virgin. I've yep. tried many times to get lucky, but no luck. I use dating apps and have women message me and ask for my number, but for some reason it turns south. I had one girl ask if I hit girls because I told her my dad hit my mom. Well, why'd you tell her that? Like on a first date? <laughs> then she ghosted me. I'm starting to really get pissed off that everyone has a girlfriend but me. Last date I went on, she took me to a drag bar. I felt awkward and uncomfortable. She let me touch her ass, but then ghosted me. I was annoyed that she led me on. Then as per usual, I got ghosted. I need some advice from the fathers. Amen. Rachel. Oh. Oh. Low standards. <laughs> she said he needs to lower his standards. Oh, wow. I didn't see that coming. I didn't either. Yeah. Take what you can get, she said. And what gets me is that why would you go on a date and tell your date about your father yeah, that's not first abusing, date abusing your mother? Yeah, I don't know if it's so much. I think he'll happily take, but he can't. The problem is, Rachel, he can't get anything. Yeah, that's because he's coming off as a super weird creeper. Okay. I think we're getting like, to the, the, the problem here. You can't just show everybody your bag of mad cats at once. you got to keep one we, cat We at did. Time. We did. <laughs> We it's okay it all to be like on the genuine, table. right? But maybe don't like let unleash all your baggage, like your darkest no, baggage. No, just one cat at a time. Just one try. cat at a time. Let one cat out of the bag at a time, not the whole bag of cats. <laughs> Jimmy, I have to, I have to agree with her. So uh, this man, he was uh, so the, the woman ghosted him at the club, and he's a virgin. He's still, getting ghosted that's, by that's, by all. A, he's a virgin. Still. Yeah. Well, how about relieve the pressure? Hire a girl, get mm -hmm. it over and done with, and then he'll feel more confident to approach. Wow, the that's a slippery slope. I I, I feel that might be. Yeah, because we've had those ones that go to the whorehouses and they get hooked and they can't. And then stop. you never get out of the whorehouse. Yeah, because it's like, well, this is the only way I know how to get. It could be one and done, she said. It could be one and done, or maybe he went to that drag bar. Maybe he might be playing for the other team, and it's not. We <laughs> yeah, why is it comfortable? Usually, it's just fun, you know. <laughs> I have to confess, I, I, I've been to drag bars down in Florida Keys. They're quite fun. It's very fun, fun, man. I, I love drag yeah. queens. I actually, I do yeah. uh, the Cape Coral Pride. I do video for that annually. It's coming up uh, yeah. in March. Did you say annually? <laughs> <laughs> well, annually. Yeah. annually. annually. <laughs> oh, I like Rachel. Was, was was a good one. <laughs> yeah, no, she needs to like you guys get in her chair. We're gonna get you guys flames for the background. Make her an evil nun. Yeah, we gotta get a green oh, screen, believe. Awesome. You know what? I'm gonna get a green screen too. I'm gonna do the whole Vatican thing behind screen. me. Thank you. Gotta, Thank gotta, you gotta, for gotta, your gotta, 
Love you too. Thanks, Rachel. Thanks, Bye. So. Bye. Bye. Back to Tyler. Back to Tyler, who does the gay pride thing anally. That's um. <laughs> I do it every year. I do it anally. Well, well, hey, one and done every uh, year. Annually, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it's like my purge. You know, just like yeah, they got to sure. do all the gay uh, stuff. You know, once Tyler, a year. What yeah. happened to this gentleman after uh, the woman ghosted him in the uh, in the uh, uh, the what, what kind of club did they go to? So Greg. that's we, he left off just like there. He's just once again been ghosted. This is a recurring problem with women. Yeah, I don't well, think if, I, if that's a recurring I, problem, problem, buddy, for him, look in the him. fucking mirror. You're the problem. If it keeps happening, there must be something you're doing <laughs> wrong. There's the something you're mirror. saying wrong. You are the problem. There's a reason why you're a virgin at 23, you fucking loser, because you got no game. You can't speak oh, to women. Probably because your mother treated you bad. And your mother just gave you no respect for women. Awesome. So now you don't know how to talk to women because your mother never spoke to you because you're a little shit your whole life. I've heard of dudes. Wait, that are you know, there's, there's a such thing as late starters. The poor guy, he's yeah. going to hang himself when you get Oh, my you God. Know. Yeah, you know, a, I, I, have, I have friends didn't. That, 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 that didn't get laid. Right. Yeah, I know 20s. people that it took I mean, a while. Yeah. Yeah. Not, well, everybody's, they not everybody's. Well, they a, they they're fine. They're successful. Oh, yeah. Define successful. Not, not everybody is, is a you know. Not everybody's a Don Juan lead. Not they're gonna be late. <laughs> yeah, you know, they're, they're, they're not they gonna be, be like, like, like uh, you know, like me. Come on, you know, getting late. Twenty three, he gets you know. ghosted by every girl. Every girl ghosts him. Well, because he know doesn't what? have he doesn't have a game. He's got no experience. That's oh, right. oh, let's go on a date. Hi, what do you like to do? Oh, let's. My uh, dad beat let's, my mom. I just, I just like to. You know, when I was growing up, I used to just sit on the couch and. Watch my father beat my mum. Oh. I used to get a woody. I used to get hard watching no. it. So, so maybe if we can go Anybody's home and can get you slap you around a bit and my Shinoli well, can get hard while I'm slapping you. maybe he was the type of guy you. when he met a girl, he was just very sincere and she, he wanted to take her to dinner and they they went to Carvel. I can't every know. every movie, and, and, you know. every horror movie that's been made, look at even Halloween, the abusive father beat the oh. mother. Look at all yeah, the movies. Just, I'm not gonna lie, dude. That's a red flag. If you're like, there, I can't think of any context where on the first date you're telling a girl, or it's not even a date. I think it was just in the chat. I can't think of any context where you tell them, like, without meeting them, that your dad abused your mom. That's a huge red flag. Mm -hmm. huh? And he and he too now will become an abuser. So whoever he gets with, he will abuse, and he'll have kids. <clears throat> and he's flag. kids. And his um, kids would watch him abuse his. Right, Tyler, did he actually tell the girl that his mom? Uh, yes. The father he said, boy? This is what he said, and I quote. And I quote. Uh, for some, <laughs> I use dating apps and have women message me and ask for my number, but for some reason it turns south. I had one girl ask if I hit girls because I told her my dad hit my mom. Then she ghosted me. Like, how do you, you can't get angry at her for ghosting you after that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's being very honest. The guy's being very sincere. Why did she Obviously, ask him if he hit girls? That's because he told well, that's her. Little, he, that's a little he told weird her too. First. Maybe, you know, maybe Hope you don't mind it a little rough. rough. Maybe he the guy told, looks no, gay. And, 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 you know, maybe you know whatever whatever site he's on, his mm. his picture he might look a little gay. So no, 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 girl, why was she asking girl. if he hit girls if he looked gay? No, but that's because he, well, maybe because he because already he looked told gay, her. and that's why she was asking him if he was with any any. Uh, yeah, I any gotta girls. get another beer for this to make sense. No, because he said to her, he already told her that his father hit his mother. That's why she said to him, "Well, do you hit girls too, then? Because you've been yeah. watching your father do that." That is why she asked. So he is the one that first gave up that information. Well, I, if I was him, I, 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 right. So listen, my my advice to this gentleman is uh not to give out too much information you know what i mean like that was he, he should have never did that because yeah. they're gonna the people are gonna judge you right away if you just mm -hmm. come out and say my my dad used to beat the shit out of my mother mm. you know you just come out and say that of course the the, the woman is gonna <laughs> look at him like you know well what kind of problems do you have you know mm -hmm. if, mm -hmm. if your father was beating the shit out of your mother yeah what, it's a red what, flag yeah mm. what's what what's what's your problem you know do you do you date women? Do you date men? Do you do you, do you torture animals? It's you know, like he takes he takes he takes the through the park late at night, and what he's been doing over the last few months since he's been ghosted. Yeah. 
I he's mean, just yeah, hanging I, out I mean, in parks. I, are you, I, are you parks. like an, an old? He's been murdering force. women. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's like he's bodies. he's like twisting squirrel next. He's like, yeah, maybe he goes women. to fucking uh, parks at night. You know, pickle parks yeah. at night <laughs> with a fucking old van with a rag of yeah. <laughs> You know, yeah. And, he, and he, he, he's know. raping, he's raping and killing women and masturbating on him because he's still a virgin. Oh, man. He will not have sex because he sees women as dirty well, creatures. I don't think he kills. And he doesn't right want to have <laughs> the dirty. I think creatures. he does the chloroform dirty first. Dirty creatures. And he, and he puts them out with the chloroform. This yeah. way, he's still alive. Oh, and geez. then he masturbates on of them. It's going to after after, after you know. he puts them yeah. in his mother's dress and dresses them up like his mother. And once right. he's masturbated on him, he then right. punches oh, wow. them to the face like his father used to punch oh, his God. mother. I think what he does at that point, Lee, is he backs the van up to some remote mm-hmm. area, he opens Mother up the back doors, yep. and he punches it out, and the woman rolls out on the grass, yeah. and he takes and off. And he says, yeah. bye, mum. Yeah. Bye, mum. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, you know what? <laughs> Or he could just be himself, but dial it back and don't let all the cats out of the you know, bag. I gotta say something, Tyler. I started where, off very where godly. Himself got him. I, I started off very godly in this show, and I'm starting to get evil now. I <laughs> saw that. Then you're throwing women out the back Lee's, of veins. Lee is pulling me back in, man. I I'm thought I was. Very I thought I was out. I just thought I was at least at least dragging me back in. I know. It's Jimmy's, really throwing, Jimmy's throwing him out the back I of the van. I can see the guy. The I can see the guy wrapping the woman up in a sheet. Yeah. Oh, God. The, Quit seeing he, it. And he, and he masturbated on her face, and then he opened up yeah. the back doors of the van, yeah. and he just fucking kicked around in the fucking van. Oh, I know. You know, yeah. and then he took off. Yeah. Yeah. I can see all that. I can see all yeah, that. But, look, yeah. but Jimmy, I can Jimmy, see it. Yeah. Jimmy, see yeah. how addictive it is. You're seeing that, and look at yeah. the fucking enjoyment it's given you. Yeah, I'm getting all excited about it. Exactly. I don't know what's happening to exactly. Me. Welcome yeah. to the fucking world of Doctor Lucifer. Yeah. Yeah. It's exciting. No, fucking, no, no fucking anally rainbow bridges here, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this poor guy. Anyway. Oh yeah, man. Well, speaking of Satan, apparently he's really taken over this guy. I don't. I, I imagine this person was very drunk or inebriated in some. Yes. Got the choir boy from. <laughs> I've been bothered by Satan for many years. <laughs> He's been chasing my solo. Oh. Every I'm, I'm going to read it word for word because some of it doesn't make sense. And I'm not sure what he was trying to say. He's been chasing my solo every day, every hour for year after year after year. <laughs> the Satan, Lucifer, Mister Scary Pant, or whatever you want, call him. <laughs> <Mr>. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Scary Pants. Oh, Mr. Scary Pants is coming. Oh, this is just this is right up Lee's alley. <laughs> I don't have a name for him. Lee Priest. <laughs> from the annoying guy in a red suit with horns who comes from a very, very hot place. Okay. <laughs> like a five year old. Oh, look, we can't make fun of him. This is his this is his reality. We have to respect it. Okay, you? you're right. You're right. You're right. Hazus Crease Day. I apologize. Yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah. I must confess. Wake up to yourself, Tyler. Anyway, as time went on, I decided mm-hmm. to make personal contact with him. Okay. Oh. I just him. told him you have been bothering me my whole life, and oh. I've had enough. He yeah. said, I want your soul. And he spelled soul like a shoe soul, S O L E. Okay. Okay. I no, he wants a new pair of Nikes. I said I already you know, know I mean, this. technically that is a soul. We can't deny that. So he said, I want your soul. Yes. And then I said, I already know this. And then he said, why did you ask? <laughs> he was getting a bit hot under the collar, if you know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, I don't know what you mean. Anyway, he asked again and said, if I get him my I know soul, what you mean. if I get him my soul, it will set me free. I oh. thought about it and said, okay, I gave him my soul, my fucking arse hole. That's my confession. He gave him his asshole? I think it's that's nice, what he It's nice that they let people in the insane you have asylum. To your asshole. It's good that they give computers to the people in the insane asylum so they can write for us. <laughs> <laughs> listen, Lee, listen. Back I need a wackier up. song we for what we do. We have to consider and respect every confession that comes in. I am respecting it. We, we, and, we can't, um, we can't say, you know, maybe this man abused by maybe, his father. Maybe this Again. man did he talk to Satan. Maybe Satan did call he him. Didn't. You know? He didn't. As a young boy being sexually abused by his father, he projected Satan on his Everyone's father. Everyone's abused by his their dad. Father. 
his father was Satan. And and when he used to abuse him, his father used to just rip his clothes off and <laughs> rape him. Oh and all he and all he had on was his You're shoes. Describe it? He left his shoes on, and that's why he's saying, I want new souls, because you've been raping me in his shoes so long, my shoes are worn out. He wants new souls. So he's got to get him souls. That's why he spelled that that way, because every time his father raped him, he just left his <laughs> Nikes on and held his Nikes by the ankles while he was raping him on the bed oh when the mother God. wasn't home. Look Thank at you. mother's picture on the nightstand. Oh, my God. This can't oh. continue. <laughs> oh. Anyway, I'd like to elaborate on the story a little bit. Okay. okay. You want to fill in some blanks? Okay. Yeah, I want, to, I want to fill in some blanks. Okay. Try it. So... <laughs> I think what happened was, like what Lee said, when his father was raping him, oh my and God. he was in the bedroom, and the, and the, and the old <laughs> man thought, came in. Jimmy was going to the go old, man, the, the old, oh, the old man came into the room on a hot yep. summer we night and just started ripping the show, sheets guys, off the kid. Right? And, and what happened was, with this, where the soul, hold, hold on, where the oh, soul like came quiet. in. Jimmy's getting a vision. Where the soul, I'm getting a vision. Describe paternal rape. Where the soul part came in is as the father was ripping the sheets off in his pajama mm -hmm. pants and mm -hmm. turned them over and was doing mm -hmm. the cheeks, mm -hmm. the kid had his sneakers on the porch. And yep. all he was thinking about was running out the front door mm -hmm. naked and getting on his shoes mm -hmm. and running for his life. And the father mm -hmm. says, I'm going to get you. I want your soul. <laughs> so I, because yes. the kid was running out the yes. door with his sneakers. All, yes. he had was on, all he had on was a pair of sneakers. And yeah. the father kept saying, I'm going to I'm gonna get you. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get your soul. That, that's what he was wow. talking about. Shoes. Mm -hmm. yeah, so mm -hmm. I think that's that's what I could see. It. Mm -hmm. And I think this yeah, is similar to what Louisiana. I said while he was I think it happened in Louisiana. And his father, and his father was holding his legs up. When his father was holding his legs up while he was raping him, then that's all he's looking up at is his father and his feet with his soles up there. And I have to say, I visualize this somehow. I think this happened in Louisiana. I I, actually, I was thinking the same thing. I was <laughs> yeah. thinking the swamp land, the big, yeah. those no. big overhanging trees blowing yes. outside. Yes, and the, yes. I, I saw his shoes on the giant porch, yeah. wooden porch outside. With, a bit, with a bit of peat moss, a bit of peat moss along oh, the A little bit God. of peat moss visible. and the... The, the, the lawn, yeah. he, had, he had a couple of acres and, yeah. the, and the land was a little swampy and the kid was running. Yeah, there. Yes. And, as he was, yeah. and that's oh. where he was running when he finally escaped. His right. shoes got stuck in the swampy mud right. and he lost exactly. his soles. Oh. He, right. And that's why he has these nightmares about mm. his, his soul because he mm. said the devil wants his soul and mm -hmm. he related it to the bottom of his sneaker because mm -hmm. that's what got stuck in the swamp in Louisiana mm -hmm. as he was running through the bayou. Yeah, and then eventually he was out there so long, he had no food, he was cold, he finally had to give in and come home to Papa, and he just said, Papa, I give in, have my soul, rape away. <laughs> no! Either that, or I think, I, what I see, Lee, is I think he ended mm -hmm. up in the bayou and the Cajun people took him in. But the only way they were going to take uh -huh. him in is if they had to do him, you know, and uh -huh. uh, he had to give up the uh -huh. one shoe uh -huh. he had. He yeah. had one uh -huh. shoe left because the other yes. one was stuck in the bayou in the swamp. Yeah. And he had uh -huh. one sneaker left, and he had uh -huh. to give up that one sole, that one shoe, uh -huh. to join the Cajun people out there in the swamps. Yes. The voodoo people, they do, who do voodoo. Do you picture the voodoo and the... And the bones, I picture a bag of bones and uh, like a little yeah. cauldron and they're mixing it up and they've got his yes. shoe in the cauldron, mixing it up with a few chicken feathers yes. and like stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> I see I see the old, uh, you know, Baton Rouge woman cutting the chicken ah, neck. Exactly. I do. You know? I see it. Yes. Yeah. And then, you know, tripping the blood in the pot, you yeah. know, and then throwing the, yeah. the different color rocks on the ground. Yes. Uh, just to accept his soul into their community. And uh, mm -hmm. he did it all on that one sneaker. And that's yeah. why the man, that's why he's freaked out mm -hmm. about the soul. Absolutely. So that's where, that's, and that's where that saying come from about, you know, you got to walk a mile in somebody's shoes before you can say anything. Exactly. Which is, which is a great saying because you can walk a mile, turn around, call them a cunt, and they can't get you. Plus, you'll have their shoes. Exactly. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to say the conclusion of this story. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is that mm -hmm. I? He's still, he's still living in the bayou with the alligators. <laughs> he's, still, he, he's still out of the bayou, and somehow when he came across the Cajun community, they had a laptop, and he wrote this story to you, Tyler, and that's mm -hmm. how we got a hold of this. 
that's how we got a hold of this. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I got to just say, you know, I, 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 I wish him the best. His father's uh, still I, looking for the, him, too. Keep the faith because your father's still looking for you. He's probably running through the jungle. He's probably He's running through fucking, the swamp right now. His father, I bet you his father in one of those fucking airboats just going up and down yes, this yeah. fucking marsh. Before, before, looking before for him, the father was yelling out, airboat, yelling Lee. out, yelling out, Lee. Harold, where are you? Harold, I can no. smell no, you what, out no. here. He never no, hit a fan. What he did, Lee, was he took one of his son's socks and let the ah. hound sniff oh. it. Oh, yeah. yeah. So he let the hound sniff his son's sock. Yes. And then, then they got in the airboat and yeah. they started to head out yeah. into the bayou. They're and, still and looking for him. him. And to this day, look, right, the lady exactly. who took him in, that family yeah. that took him in, to, to this day, she has to cast a spell each day and sprinkle that stuff around keep him away. to keep to keep that the hound dogs away. Otherwise, exactly. his father's gonna find him. Yeah, exactly. 100%. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's how we that's how we're gonna end that story. And uh, yeah. I don't know how I don't know how we got that story. The hey, but it's funny you said by you, and I was picturing the yeah. same thing. Uh, yeah, see, Lee, the vision yeah. was just coming to us. See? I, yeah. I, you know, yeah. I, I I know like you have a dark soul and. And I try to look at the light of things, but you know mm-hmm. what? We meet in the middle and we yes. see the vision together, light or dark. The vision mm-hmm. comes together. Mm-hmm. So I, I, I agree with you, Lee. I agree with you. Well, oh, good time. <laughs> <laughs> from bayous to bedroom dartboards, we've got mm-hmm. one more confession for everyone tonight. It's from you with, with, with the dartboard on the wall behind right, you. What, what do we yeah. got, Tyler? We're going full circle, Jimmy, to the dartboard confession. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't even know we had one. And fellas, can I just say, it's been a wacky ride, but a fantastic episode. This one fell, oh man. From Rachel, you know, on the tequila, on the floor with te- the tequila tails <laughs> and giving us a little sneak in confessions. We, I would love getting her, you know, we, we got to call her in for more confession you know, opinions. <laughs> Listen, Tyler, I'll get, I'll get her I have to say, I, I have to say something here, fellas. Lee, yes. Tyler, yes. Yes. I want to confess. Oh, okay. 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 Nope. Confess. I have to think that, and I totally believe that this is probably one of the most unique shows on the internet. <laughs> because it's unique, all right. How many. How many podcasts are out there where people actually write in their deepest, darkest confessions? Dude, some of these are pretty deep and, and we, dark. And we, uh, what was that? Some of these are very deep and dark. That's for sure. Yes, they are. They're very. Mm-hmm. They, you know, they go to the dark side. Thank you and, so much you know, for your confessions. And and and, and you know and, and yes, we want to thank you so much for the confessions. I don't know, and, and least, I didn't realize why did Doctor Phil become such a TV star for helping people, and he we are helping people. Shit. We're helping people, and we're not getting the recognition that Dr. Phil gets. Yeah, well, sometimes, for some reason, pieces of shit can advance in life, and Dr. Phil's one of those, exploiting yeah. people. Hey, but we're, hey, we're still young. As the word gets out there and someone's going to see this show and pick it up, like you said, maybe Quentin Tarantino or somebody, <laughs> they're going to take our ideas. Right up and, alley. You know, we're going to be out there. We'll be out there. Giving our ideas on the production in the bayous and in the cities, <laughs> you know, will be. This is going to be like oh, a big full, oh. full like eight season fucking TV. <laughs> All I have to say is that I want to sincerely thank the fans for writing in their confessions. Because yes, that's a very brave thing to do, even though mm. it is anonymous and nobody knows who mm-hmm. you are. It's still, a, it's still a step up. Mm-hmm. Uh, of bravery to actually write your darkest it's Very, very secrets. brave and very brave and stupid, but we thank you. Thank you so much. It's you make our show. I, I'm not going to do the, the funny, stupid the, part. The but funny, I, crazy I, ones are the best. It makes the show so fun. I'm, I, I just want everybody to please continue because we, we do have a lot more, but I don't think and we even, can get Even like we said, they don't have to be confessions because in the comments someone said, can they just be stories like a crazy story? Absolutely. Yes. Oh yes, my God, yes. yes. Well, yeah, you, know, you, don't basically, to, you don't have to seek absolution. If you don't, yeah. you're doing, you know, things are going great. You for might, you might have done something bad that you're proud of, and it could be like so bad you need we'll to get a judge you. chest. You just want to tell a story about, hey, I was walking home. There was a girl laying in the park. She was asleep. I went over. Oh God! Did, so, did the little it, finger jab while she's sleeping in the park, and then I went home and you know put those same fingers in my wife. And then when I finished with my wife, I went upstairs and did the daughter. Jesus, okay. if, you, if you want to talk about it, that's fine. 
if well, you, you want to be if, if, berated if, you know, by Doctor Lucifer, if you want a verdict from listen, any of the fathers, right on in. I have to say, you know, confessions really are stories, but you know, yes. like 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 you said, like Tyler said, they don't we don't have to they don't have to look for you know the answer. You know, yeah. just share your stories, and we'll elaborate on the stories. You know, <laughs> listen, life is like a giant corridor, Box of right? Chocolates. It's a it's a corridor, <laughs> and down this and down this long corridor right yeah are many doors it's like a yes. hotel yes right so when you it's tell like lee and i and tyler the stories we're gonna go down the corridor and we're gonna <laughs> try to we're gonna try to you know help you open the right doors down uh -huh. that corridor that's or what it's we're like, gonna or it's like a maze it's we're, gonna, we're gonna walk you we're gonna walk you through that maze the best way we can hoping absolutely you might absolutely. you might get out of the maze or you might be stuck in eternity uh, yeah. or, or, or the, the maze, the maze no might get more line. intense yeah mm. so i just have to say you know we want to really thank everyone yes you know, we're, we're not ending the show are we but we got one more confession all right so yeah. I, I i just want you know because we have a lot of confession but we can't get to the wall because we'll be here for three four hours but i want to just say lives. i want to what was that Tyler? we have lives you know we got yeah. You know, I mean, you know, yeah, we, we could go on for three hours, but anyway, oh. I just want, I want, I really want to thank everyone for mm -hmm. writing in, and please continue, yes. and please like and su subscribe the channel. And at the end of the show, Tyler will, uh, you know, uh, uh, let the uh, website go by where you can it's write in your there right now. There it is. There, look, there it goes. There oh, it goes. yeah, there it there is right the now. Confession booth. Here it comes Arts again. Muscle. Here it comes again. There it comes Arts again. Muscle Confessions at gmail.com is the confession booth. Right on. There you in. go. And they're totally anonymous. Don't worry. No one's going to know who you, you will are. Never, your name will never be written. We would never, right. ever do that to you. We're not that bad. Never. So okay. And with that, our final confession of the night. Oh. So is that, is that because is you're a, running out of time, Tyler? Yeah, we're getting, we're getting, we're getting there. And, you know, okay. well, of course, we want to give you guys a little bit of time to, to, right. to have your I end gotcha. banter. We got to end mass accordingly. When I was a teenager, this is, by the way, this person has confessed before. We got we got a repeat confessor. Oh. If you get another good story that comes to you, don't be afraid to pop back in the booth. We will always try to read as many as we can, all the best ones. When I was a teenager, we had a family friend living with us for a while. He was five years older than me. He used to pick on me a bit. Mm. One time he pissed me off and I threw a dart at him and it stuck in his head. That That's happened my... to me. <laughs> it all happened to you, shit. We'll hear about that. But that's not the best one. Another time he was in my room bugging me, so I attacked him. I happened to have a pair of vice grips, because, you know, that's like a good tool to just have around. So I chased him. He jumped out of my bedroom window. But before he got out, I clipped him in the nuts with the vice grip. Jesus, that would hurt so bad. Wow. The funniest part is the next day he noticed his balls were all bruised and that he had been with a random girl a few days earlier and was thinking he caught something. So he went to the doctor. The doctor <clears throat> examined him and said, uh, did you get your balls pinched by something? <laughs> and that's when he realized what happened from his cousin. It was oh. just a fun little amusing anecdote. I like that story. I'm calling, <laughs> I'm calling um, bullshit because how could you not know your balls got clamped in a vice grip jumping out a window you would have felt that instantly you'd think you would put two and two together like a hey, maybe and come from the vice thing i understand because when i was young uh, it's not even a confession i was playing darts with a friend of mine when i was probably like 12 and i was beating him and you know what he did he stood in front of the dartboard with his back to me and i said lawrence that was his name <laughs> lawrence <laughs> if you don't move i'm gonna throw this dart and he ignored me oh. i said lawrence Get out the way, or I'm. Gonna I mean, I would move. Dart. He stood there. So you know what I did? I threw that dart as hard as I could. Ooh! It went in the back of his fucking neck, and he fucking went and started yelling, carrying on. Went over, I grabbed him neck like that. I pulled the dart out. I said, "If you'd go inside and tell my mother, I'm going to punch you in the face." Oh my and god! Lawrence, <laughs> oh my Lawrence god, left, terrifying. and he went home. That's crazy. That really happened. Yes, that's crazy. That's why. For a minute there, I'm thinking, this almost sounds like my story. But, yeah. <laughs> but on the other end. But I've never had anyone oh. jump out the window, anything like that. So yeah, I wonder like, how my many stories of that. My victims story. never got out the window. I had it nailed shut. I, I have I have a similar story like that. I, yeah. I, 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 I We were playing darts at my cousin's house. 
Mm-hmm. And for some reason, me and my cousins, we always had, we always feuded. So mm-hmm. before the dart game was over, uh, we actually had a dart fight where, <laughs> what, you know, a set of cousins were on the other side of the room, we were on this side of the room, and everybody was throwing darts at each other. <laughs> and who had a dart in the shoulder? Who had a dart in the forehead? Who had a dart in the leg? And this is what happened. And and then that led, it continued. And then the fight went outside because my mother and my aunts, they couldn't control us. We were all nuts. This is back in the, the the early 70s. And we went outside and then we had a rock fight in the driveway. The fight oh, continued. Yeah. So now we're standing on each side of the driveway and we're throwing rocks at each other and shingles and all this stuff. And I was smiling because I hit my cousin in the head with a rock. And then he threw a rock and hit me right in the mouth and I lost my tooth. It fell right out with oh, a rock. Shit. Yeah, yeah, this is a, this is the. Well, they were good old days, weren't they? Rock fights. And yeah, with they're, rocks. they're good. You know, they're good old rocks at each other. You know, they were like that. they were like true battles. You know, really true battles because. And then it was the dirt you know, claws. It was like basically know, rocks. You know. Anybody uh, who does that is not in their right mind, but that's what we did. <laughs> so I have to I have to say I I did enjoy it when I hit my cousin in the head with a rock. I laughed hysterical. And then one of my other cousins threw a rock when I was laughing, and it knocked a tooth out. Yeah, <laughs> there's the ding. Oh shit, man! From yeah, darts to rock, really, um, yeah, the whole vice thing. Now, like I said, if you still got your balls clipped going out the window, you'd know it's sore. So you'd know before you even slept with that girl that your balls have been clipped by something. Yeah, so I, I have a story about a ball sack leak. So is there a ball write, write us out with your ball sack story. Well, let's 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 do this ball sack story. So I was like seven years old, and um, you know mm-hmm. this is back in the late sixties. You know, and we had is it, we, is this is the had, uncle at Christmas time, is it? No, that's another story. Okay. So we we we're, we're doing cops and robbers. Of course, I was the robber. You know, and the cops no, were chasing me. And we were always always the very baddie. young, very <laughs> young. Yeah, I was always the baddie. So uh, my my friend Ralph, you know, he told he said, uh, "Don't go in my yard." My mother's got the tomato garden in the back. Don't mm-hmm. go back there, you know. I didn't listen like I never do. So mm-hmm. as the cops were chasing me, I jumped up the fence. It was like one of those stockade fences, yeah. and I dove. I dove over the fence. Ralph, Ralph the Pinto was his name. Ralph I dove, the Pinto. I, yeah, Ralph the Pinto. I dove over the fence, and as I dove over the fence. Right, you know, in you, know you, ever, you ever go to a to- you ever see a tomato garden? Yeah, so a tomato garden they have they, these they have the, like the spikes, yeah, the stakes exactly. The whole they have the stakes, and the tomato, the tomato, the vine grows around the, mm-hmm. the stick because it's an old Italian thing, right? So here's the mm-hmm. old stakes, and the, I jump off the fence and I land right no. on the stake. No, yes, just like that, bam, right through the jeans, everything. I, so here I am standing there. Well, my legs on either side of the stake. Oh, the stake God damn. My legs, right You're looking the to rupture your ball sack. Oh, it was worse than that. So I, I <gasps> leaned down. This and was I, Jimmy's I, first I, sexual I, experience. Yeah, oh, yeah. This was bad. So I, 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 I leaned down. I grabbed the stake and I pull it out of my groin, you know, and I and I dropped my pants. And uh, here I am bleeding profusely. Oh, Dude, did it seriously pierce? And I was, I was bleeding inside my legs, on the inner side of my legs. I was bleeding internally, right? So cool. I ran up the street with my pants down, screaming, because, you know, I was a young kid. And oh. I remember being in the kitchen, oh. and my mother and my uncle, her brother, you know, threw me on the kitchen table with my legs in the air. And my uncle said, he's got to go get stitches, man. Yeah. And I, I ended up going to the doctor, the hospital, and they stitched me up. i never forget it. And they took something like vice grips, and they were squeezing the skin on the, <gasps> on the scrotum, you know, clip. Oh, clip, my clip. God. And I was like, oh, my like God. No. Yeah. And it was just no. like, yeah, clip, clip, no, clip. No, stop you know. doing and, that. You know, and then the, after the doctor, <laughs> the doctor says, you know, if you didn't have on underwear, he goes, you wouldn't have made it. He goes, you would have died. Holy yeah. shit. So back in those days, my mother, you know, everybody was hardcore Italian. So I had this cast on my chazole. It looked like a volcano. So <laughs> I had this white. Is it like is it like one know, of those collars they put yeah. around a dog's neck after they've had an yeah, operation? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but it was reversed. So the, yeah. cone, wow. the, the, the cone went up. Yeah, yeah. And, and, then, and, and, my, and I, you know, you just saw the little thing in my the little yeah. thing at the. And oh, then my mother you know, sent so me this. My mother, my mother sent me to school like that. You oh know, so I, I was no. on, I was on crutches 
with the yeah. bandage on my scazole, and I remember going to the bathroom, taking my pants down, and I had this giant cast on, and my little scazole sticking out. Oh, going to the poor bathroom. little guy. Yeah. yeah, and I was like, you know, now, I didn't think of anything of it. Rachel, then, Rachel, like, just how many years looked, later? I was Rachel, like, how did my mother? She's giving me a funny look. Rachel's giving a funny look. You missed the story, Jimmy. Jumped over the fence and he oh. landed on his neighbor's tomato steak bushes and it went up through his ball sack and that. And he pulled his pants down, it's bleeding profusely. So he had to go home and his mum and that put him on the kitchen table and had a look. And he had to go to hospital and get his ball sack sa stapled. And then they had to put a collar like it went oh. the around it, like a cone, like reverse a cone. It was like, you know, like a sherbet cone with like a meathead sticking out the end. <laughs> So <laughs> oh my god so lee you know back in, back uh, uh, a while ago when you you know you were sharing your uh Chazol story with us yes. i was thinking about that you know and i was like you know what i had a similar story to, to well, when you story. talked about the fence and when i was young at home i have something in common with your christ I was on a swing on the backyard and I'm swinging and you know, you swing and you jump off and you jump off. Yeah, I yeah. jumped off and as I jumped off, I put my hands on the back wooden fence like that and two nails exactly went through the palm of my hands on the oh, fence. Boy. I had wow. to pull my hands off. So in a way I was, I wonder, no wonder why I have a Christ-like you're, complex. You're crucified, yeah, yeah. I had to go get a tetanus needle, but then uh, two weeks later, I was carrying a plank of wood with my mother in the same backyard. I think the, I heard the house was haunted. We're carrying this plank of wood, and for some reason, my mother stops and pushes it back. And as she pushed it back, a splinter of the wood broke off, oh. went through my jeans and into my leg. Fuck. And I'm standing there looking at it. I'm trying to take my jeans down, but I can't because the wood's gone through. It's so had to snap the wood off, take my jeans down. I go inside, and my mum says, I can try get that out. She pushes the wood deeper into my leg, so we have to go to the hospital. So I'm sitting there now, and they've numbed it, and they're trying to get the wood out. And while I'm sitting there, they bring a bag of ice around with a finger in it, and they said, would you like this? I said, yes. Can I take it home, Mum? My mum said, no, you're not taking that home. But, yeah, but I had two <laughs> stories about wood, like the cross of Christ going through my jeans and being impaled to a fence. Oh, the power of Christ compels you. It does compel the me to do weird things, doesn't it? I had a girlfriend whose brother was climbing over a fence yeah. into the neighbor's pool and yeah. he actually got his balls caught between the slats in the fence and twisted and he had to go to Stop. Oh, he got his balls stuck in the slat in the fence. <laughs> yeah, my balls hurt just listening to him. So <laughs> hanging, hanging off the fence by his balls. <laughs> So you want to yeah. hear the you, you want it, Rachel? You want to hear the funny thing? Oh, no, oh, she's back. Yeah. She's back. She's she's been yeah. thinking about sad virgin guy. What she's she's had oh, some she's long, got more for him. She's had a long time to think about this. Well, yeah. No. <laughs> okay. We'll oh, make she's fun got, of She has insight, Lee. She has insight. Okay, no, tell no, us. We weren't making fun of him. We were just making light of the situation. But okay. He's obviously like struggling to just connect with somebody, and oh, I think that's Jesus. the biggest thing. So yeah. I still feel like rental whore is the way to go. Just mm -hmm. want to get it, get that out of the way. So, mm -hmm. but it's like, is that what porn is for? I'm just worried that's a slippery slope. Bags of cats at each other. Mm -hmm. That's just because we weren't virgins. If we were virgins, it would have been different, wouldn't it? So I really feel like maybe he needs therapy. <laughs> that there you go. That's the answer. Oh, tequila, I don't know. Maybe you should go have therapy. <laughs> so, Lee, so what happened was... Yeah, since, since, since the bottle has turned up, how many drinks have you had in your glass? I'm not using a glass. You're just drinking from oh, the wow. bottle. She's pirate. She's <laughs> how much how much is going down in the she's bottle? She's doing the old pirate thing. Yeah, you are. She's just drinking from... Go get me the bottle. So, I, 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 have, I just want to confess this one thing. So... Yeah. After that whole incident, you know, with the cone on my chazole and going to mm -hmm. school and all that there, you know, after the cone came off and I had to go get the stitches removed, uh -huh. um, you know, I found those stitches in there years and years and years later. I was still picking what? them out. Yeah. What? yeah. Years later. So I used to ask my friends in school. It was a very weird question. I used to say, uh, how many balls do you have? Because I thought I, I thought I, because I completely split it in half. 
I thought I lost one. So I used to ask a lot of my friends, you know, how many balls they had. Yes. Nice there you bottle. go. Look. Yeah. That's it. Since the new bottles come, that's how much she's drank. Oh, Molly. Uh, she's just getting started. Cool. The day is still started. but young. Yes, the day's still young. Yeah. So you know, I that was my question oh, to my friends. Geez. You know, I I used oh. to say, you know, how many how many balls enough. do you have? And my my friends just say, what do you mean? I got two balls. I'm like, okay, okay, I'm good. Okay. All right, cool, I, cool, cool. I Sounds got, good. I got, <laughs> I got two balls. I'm good. You know what oh, I mean? Oh shit. Well, on that yeah. note, man. So Jimmy, what a Jimmy way to ask his friends how many balls they had when after his operation. What up? Yes, and we're also. Uh, after he had his things sewn back up, he used to ask his friends at school, how many balls do they have? But why? Because maybe he thought he was felt different now after having his balls sewn back together. Yeah. He thought he might have had an <laughs> <laughs> I actually had the I actually had Rachel, I actually had the sack ripped in half completely. In half. And they had to they had to stitch it back up and and staple it with the pliers and all of that. Huh? I went through a lot of pain. <laughs> A lot he of says, pain. but why would that change the amount of balls you have in there? Well, because I thought, you know, when the sack ripped open on the fence, uh, uh, you know, you in the backyard, I thought, right, I thought I lost one. So you I did it. You, did it. Yeah. you thought you, you had three? You had beforehand? Yeah, or? I thought I had three. I didn't know. Oh, who are you? Fucking E.T. Uh, <laughs> do you hear my little bomb ticker? I got to get to a gig tonight. I'm sorry. That's all well, the time what's this? Is this another rainbow anal gig you're going well, I, I do have another story about uh, some this houses. One. I, w I wish. I, I guess we'll wait till next week for the story. I got a, I got a couple yeah. more stories. About you better write it down. Tyler's got write some down. dry things to do. Yeah. I wish no, but it should be all. It's a, oh, you it's, wish it's, you wish you'll get named. Is that what you're saying? It's yeah, every time. Oh, oh, it's at a tavern. It's you a are a bad choir thing. boy, aren't you? Naughty boy, you. <laughs> it's an acoustic <laughs> memorial show that I have to record. An acoustic okay. what? Some sort of acoustic memorial show. I don't. I memorial. Didn't, I the, the quick things. Yeah, in dedication of. I don't know. Someone might have died, and it's for them. It's a nice thing I'm doing, and I have to oh, get it. Sounds like a nice, cheery fucking thing to get. Would you like Jimmy and I to come and help out? Yeah, you guys want to get here in time? Uh, yeah, can you like FaceTime us there while you're there at the memorial? <laughs> I, should, I should just bring you there for the whole thing. Yeah. Just drowned out by acoustic music. No, hopefully it'll be all right. I'll, I'll let you guys know how it goes. There, Jimmy's got the acoustics out now. Oh, yeah, he's already busting me up. Play it, there Jimmy. It it's beautiful. All right, guys. The wonderful show. Thank you for all your confessions. Drop plenty more confessions in for next week, and we'll see you then. And he's out. Look at that. Oh, he's back. And we're here to help, always. Yeah, we're here to help and, and berate you and condemn you to hell. How dare you speak like that when Jimmy and I are doing the word and giving the... <laughs> I might be doing the work of the devil. He's doing the work of the Lord. How dare you just throw just... Spanish in the works, Tyler? I'm sorry. I'm a meagerly altar boy who spoke out of turn. Mm -hmm. That's right. Exactly. You know your place behind the holy water. Pants down.